Hey, welcome to Gold Scratch. So, uh, a few months ago, I actually made a video of the same engine, and it was on the way to the dyno, and we didn't get there for various reasons, so we'll save all the details about that. But we're going to start it and run it for you today, and we do tentatively plan to dyno this engine on uh, June 4th. So, uh, first of all, I made some improvements to my little run stand since the last video, and it's a continuous improvement. So, as I had before, I just had a regular key switch, and so I bought this nice little panel off Amazon, and it works really nice. It's uh, separate for ignition, fan, fuel pump, lights, and now I have full control, and it all works good. So I'm going to use it to start up in a minute, but just wanted to show you that. I did an overflow tank for my red to make sure we don't misunderstand if we see water on the floor. Uh, we ought to wonder where it came from. Sometimes it's just from there, so uh, the overflow tank solves that problem. So we've run this engine already. Uh, this engine is uh, Mike Kimball is actually holding the camera and he's built this engine for his dad, Dale Kimball. And it's a 1970 GTO. This is the original and correct engine that came out of this 1970 uh, Pontiac GTO, which is, uh, he's in the process of restoring. And this is gonna get done and put in the corner until the rest of the car is ready. Uh, it's a long process if anybody's ever done a total and complete restoration of a car like that, they know what I'm talking about. So uh, we're gonna get that going. We've had this engine running. So let me talk a little bit about what we did to the motor and we're gonna start it up uh, in a minute here. So it's a complete and total rebuild, of course. Uh, the block's been bored 30 now. We have KB pistons in it. Of course, uh, uh, all new rings and bearings, all that stuff, a detailed blueprint uh, rebuild uh, with full documentation. Uh, it's got uh, original uh, heads uh, on it, but I did do some miles porting in the heads. Uh, or matching and uh, some work in the bowl area uh, with the heads. And it has a um, Crower 60916 camshaft. And that cam is 221 on the intake, 229 on the exhaust, 455 lift on the intake, and 470 on the exhaust. And one issue if anybody's building one of these things uh, is is rocker arm ratio, you can gain some nice lift by in, uh, increasing the rocker arm ratio. And uh, we have experimented with 1.6 rocker arms and that can be problematic. So if you want to avoid any issues, you got to do your own homework, but if you want to avoid any issues, 1.6 will work. This is actually the second Pontiac TTO I built for Mike. <coughs> The first one we made, we did make a dyno of it a couple months ago and it had 1.6 rock arms and there was no issues whatsoever. And with 1.65 rock arms, uh, you can get into some problems in the, in the bell cut area in the head. So just making sure everybody's aware of that. Um, the intake manifold, we did have an elder block uh, performer manifold for it, uh, high rise aluminum manifold. And we've gone back to the original stock cast iron manifold. And the re main reason for that is hood clearance. We want to make sure we don't have any hood clearance issues. It's got the, the correct Quadrajet uh, 800 CFM carburetor. We've actually used this carburetor in previous dyno tests. And it makes as much power as a 750 double pump or poly carburetor with annular boosters. So the carburetor works fine. Uh, one of the other upgrades is the distributor. It's uh, obviously for uh, not electronics, I'm sorry, it's an HEI distributor. It originally came with points. So your choices are if you have one of these and you want to upgrade it, you can put electronics in the original distributor or or you can use an HEI. And I like HEI. You stick them in, hook a wire to them, and fire them up and away they go. And that's all you have to worry about. So uh, it also has the um, Reproduction cast iron manifolds that came on GTOs are basically a cast iron header, a very nice design, and it's uh, going to start up in a minute and let you hear it run. It's a Flowmaster muffler, so this is basically the exhaust system that's going to be on the car uh, when Mike puts the motor in the car. So, so what am I covered here? I've got the, covered the block, the 
heads, camshafts, lifters, manifold. I think we pretty much got it, got it covered. So I run this engine I already broke it in on the dyno. I have, a, as I showed this in a previous video, I've got an hour meter in my dyno now, so I don't have to keep track of it with my cell phone or anything anymore. I just look at my hour meter. So this engine is run actually well over 40 minutes already uh, on the test pan. The camshaft is broken in, the lifters are broken in, and we don't have any issues there to worry about uh, with them. So we're going to start it up and uh, let you hear how it runs. So Mike's going to open the door for me. And so this for what it's worth, a moment in time, this is April uh, 19th, and it's snowing outside in London, Ontario. Believe it? Not a nice day, but we're just going to stick the lifters outside. Thanks for watching Bull Scratch.